Natasha and this is Arthur. Arthur and we're joining you for a festive fun video from our house which is located on Tree 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. And what are we making today? Garland. We're making a garland. So we're gonna make a holiday garland using dried citrus fruits and we have a bit of pear in there and also some decorations we made out of our recycling. So we just cut up some old cereal boxes and we made some Pine cones and what else do we have up here, buddy? More pine cones? We made this one. Poinsettias. We made this one. Yeah, another pine cone and holly. And these are just cracker boxes and cereal boxes. So whatever you have that's thinnest is easier. This and then we is just, the cracker. That one was a candy box, right? Yeah. yeah. And we just draw on it with markers and then cut them out. Buddy? Yeah. So then all you need after that is a big needle if you have it and then string and we just cut out a big length of string and we did two strings together and then tied a knot. So this is a piece of pear that's on there already and we're just going to keep stringing them on here until we have a big row to make our garland. If you want to make smaller ornaments you could just do a tiny bit of string on one of the fruit or pieces of decoration. Or if you have a glue gun, you could use that too. Can you pass me one of the oranges? Just one though, okay? So here's one of our dried oranges. It's nice and crispy and see-through and dry. And we just baked these in the oven. Um, we put them on a cooling rack on a cookie sheet in a thin layer. We cut them as thin as we could and then we bake them on the lowest setting in the oven for four to five hours until they looked dry. If you put your heat up, you can do it a bit quicker, but you have to be really careful they don't burn at the end. What should we put on next, buddy? So now we have a pear and an orange. Should we do another orange? So you can just go right through the center of your orange with your needle. Or if you want it to lay flat on the string instead of floating like this, you could go through each end of the skin. And I think this pair I'm gonna I'm gonna poke it closer to the top. And just be gentle, you don't rip through the side of your fruit if it's cut a bit thin. And they're actually kind of, they're staying their positions pretty good on here. They're not sliding too much, but if they were sliding and you didn't like it, you could just add a little knot behind each one. The lemon smell nice. This is what the lemons turned out like. They're a bit more brown on the outside, but when they catch the light, they're still quite pretty. And they smell good too, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. They smell nice. Should we put one of our recycling decorations on? Can you pass me a pine cone? Some people put cinnamon sticks on these types of things. Or hazelnuts. If you were doing that, you might need to use a hammer. But as is, the needle goes through the cardboard pretty easily. Were those crackers before? And now they're decorations. The flowers. Yeah, now those are called poinsettias. A lot of people get poinsettias over the holidays. So here we have our other decoration on. Can you pass me another orange? Or can I get it past your head? Here's a nice big orange. Some people put beads on here. And if you've dried them properly, they'll keep for quite a long time. And the house smelled really nice when we were baking these, didn't they? You're gonna draw me some more decorations? Yeah. We had the cardboard on the floor in front of us, so Arthur's coloring some more decorations. That's a good way to include kids in this activity. 
because they can, if you trace out the image on the cardboard, they can color it in and make it fit out. And if, you're, if your child's a little bit older than Arthur is, they can even do this threading part. It's a good fine motor skill. It's a morph a mommy. What else should we put on here, buddy? It's a morph a mommy. Thank you for joining us. Happy holidays. See you next time.